Hello guys, and this is our main session of the week, so make sure you, you go into this session well hydrated and uh, fueled, ready to go. Uh, make sure you've had a good breakfast or um, if you're training in the afternoon, at least two good meals going into this session. Uh, and ideally, we're from a mindset point of view, we're treating this like our game day of the week where we want to make sure we're, we're bringing our work rate and uh, every repetition, you're bringing your best effort. From the uh, uh, from the low point of view, this would be around eight to to ten k uh, worth of total volumes or total distance, uh, which is really really important that we keep up your volume so we can transition into that January block um, easily and seamlessly with with uh, reducing the risk of overload type injuries like shin splints and um, knee pain. Uh, so we want to make sure we're getting in that volume. It builds resilience. And, allow, and it's setting you up for success for the January, February, March. We're really ramping up the football load. So try not to skip anything here. Everything's critical and really, really important. So we'll, we'll start with a, a five-minute feel-good jog. Uh, just get the heart rate up a little bit, get the body temperature up. Then some of your own mobility and activation drills, there's some options there, but do whatever your body needs. Uh, and the five-minute feel-good jog can be a good indicator on how do your cars feel, how do my quads feel, hamstrings, how have I pulled up from the... Wednesday session and, and what do I need to mobilize or what do I need to activate then we've got some 20 meter strides uh, just focusing on good technique here maintain that 70 to 80 75 percent intensity so it's not a hundred percent good opportunity to focus on your arm swings uh, and really putting good force into the ground uh, by pushing the ground away and we're leaning forward in that acceleration position with these with a walk back recovery then we've got some change of direction work. So with our shuttles, have five cones set up, a five meter cone, a 10, a 15, a 20, and 25, and you essentially progress each one, each effort. So we run to the five, change direction back, then run to the 10, change direction back. So we're getting good volume here, 150 meters of total run per set. And then you go for a walk, jog, lap in between efforts just to uh, recover while getting some extra volume in, in between our shuttle efforts. So. With the shuttles, we want to make sure that we swivel the head quickly when we're changing direction. So you're, ex you're accelerating, focus on your first three steps, then decelerate quickly and swivel the head quickly because where the head looks, where your eyes look, the shoulders, hips and feet follow. So practice that swiveling the head really quick every time you turn. Then we've got some max effort speed exposure. So the goal here is to work up to 90% of your maximum speed. So for those that you um, that have done sprinting before, uh, this is really, really important in terms of hamstring protection. So getting regular exposure, at least weekly over the Christmas break uh, to max velocity is, is really, really important and, and something that we'll, we'll focus on heavily in the program. So the way that the 100 meters works is you've got a 30 meter acceleration phase. So you're not doing a hard acceleration where you're getting to 90% of your max speed as fast as possible. You've got a 30 meter, so it's a, what we call a flying effort. You can gradually build up like, like a plane taking off. And then from there, you've got a 40 meter in the middle zone where we want to touch on the 90%. So you hit that 90% and you're not holding it like a 100 meter sprinter. You're just touching, hitting the 90% and then gradually start to come down over a, 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 a 30 meter deceleration phase. So it's, it's not a hard start and it's not a hard finish. It's all about just gradually building up to, to 90% and then just have a walk back recovery. So we've got five of those. At least three, you want to get hit that 90% mark, uh, but it doesn't need to be all five. Then our repeat speed. So here we've got 85 meters. Focus on your first three steps every rep and make sure that you get those targets because we want that um, ability to be able to get to speed, but also ability to repeat um, exposure to, to speed as well. So you've got that capacity um, throughout the game to, to use your speed. Five of those, and then from here, this is our threshold run. So remember, threshold, think work rate. Uh, if you've got a heart rate, we want to try and maintain that above 90% and get good minutes above 90% of your average heart rate. And the way that this block works is it's like a pyramid. So you start with your 200 meters with a 200 jog, four of those. Then you progress to the 400s, where we've got two of those, a 400 meter run with a 400 meter jog recovery. Then we're at the top of the pyramid with the 800s. So 800 meter run with 800 meter, break it up between a jog and a walk recovery. And then we're down to the 400s, so we're on the way down to the pyramid. Two 400s, 
and then we finish with our four 200s with a 200 jog recovery. So there's deliberately no rest period in there. Your jog and your walks are your recovery. Um, you can do this on the outside of a, a, like an ass track um, or, or an oval. Ideally, don't do it on, on asphalt. And we want to focus on um, your uh, your running pace here. So think of like your, your 2K time trial running where you're, you're not keeping the feet close to the ground, but you're actually at a, a good running um, pace and maintaining that pace ideally. And then focus on lowering your heart rate while you're moving in the jog recoveries and the walk recoveries. So you can bring that effort again in the next rep. This is our main session of the week. Should be a really solid session uh, before we get into the Christmas phase and enjoy time with uh, family. Thanks guys. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to hit me up in the app or give us a call.